thesmartlocal.com Hi guys! Hi! Today we're going to be giving you an EQ test to see how well you do. Oh, huh? I should, should this one. <laughs> no. Yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Eloquent cuisine. <laughs> Is it emotional intelligence quotient? Cuisine. <laughs> so emotional intelligence is the capacity of individuals to recognize their own and other people's emotions to discriminate between different feelings and label them appropriately. And it's also to use emotional information to guide thinking and behavior and to manage and or adjust emotions to adapt to environments uh, to achieve a certain goal. Do you think your EQ is high? I think it's above think average. We're quite similar, so yeah, yeah. I feel like it's kind of at the same level. I would say high, yes. I would say, yeah. I would, I'll say it's quite high. 8 over 10. 7 or 8 over Maybe high. I feel like I have uh, an okay EQ. He has okay EQ, so he has okay. You're on an airplane which suddenly hits extremely bad turbulence and begins rocking from side to side. What do you do? Wait, define extremely bad turbulence. You know, rocking from side to side. Side to side, you know. Side to side, you know. <laughs> no, I'm trying to picture myself in the situation now. We hit terminus! Why? Why? <laughs> like, this is literally what always happens on planes, right? Like, always? Yeah. How many planes have you been on? Mine's very safe on it. But honestly, when you're rocking side to side, honestly, I don't give a shit. I'll continue to read my book and magazine. Okay. Unless everyone starts to panic, right? Oh my god, guys! Sit down, sit down. Then I'll be like, okay, shit just got serious. But as of now, let me just watch my movie. Okay, for me, as a normal Singaporean, <laughs> I'll act like I don't care. But then I'll be a little bit scared. But you won't even like read to make sure you know where ex the exit is. But I already knew how, where the exit is in the beginning when they tell you the exits are here. Do you watch every single time? <laughs> yes. It is my favorite part of the flight, you know. A little of both. I, I will still like be kind of wary, but I will continue reading because like it's not like the oxygen mask or that. If you drop it, then why? Stress, yeah. Pray to all the fire god. And you also need to know how many people are between you and the exit, so how many people you can elbow off the way. <laughs> You've taken a group of four year olds to the park, and one of them starts crying because the others won't play with her. What do you do? If I bring a group of four year olds out to a park, yeah, suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. I will slap the kids. <laughs> <laughs> you can see before girl cry, you tell not to cry and you stop one man. Don't cry. Don't yeah, that's cry. creepy. <laughs> that's creepy as well. I'm gonna give you sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to force the kid to blend into that. Like, just have her deal with the ostrac the uh, how she's doing ostracized. Yeah, yeah. I don't wanna do too much. So bad. Distract the crying girl to like pacify her as soon as possible, you know. Uh, Four. Four. Touch the children. Ain't no nice. <laughs> you had hoped to get an A in one of your courses, but you found out you got a C on your midterm. What do you do? <laughs> Go to the professor and try to talk her into giving you a better grade. Hey, bro, we are so sick. Two, four. I think you just sitting down and resolving to do better in the future is stupid. La. You know, like if you're really hungry, resolving to get some food won't, won't do anything. Like going down actually getting some food will, get you, will make you fuller. You are a manager in an organization that is trying to encourage respect for racial and ethnic diversity. You overhear someone telling a racist joke. What do you do? You overhear someone <laughs> telling a racist joke. What do you do? What's the point of me? Is the joke funny first of all? If the joke is not funny, I score. If the joke funny, I give chance. Number two. Stop it! <laughs> Control <laughs> your mouth. One. Oh. <laughs> As a minority in Singapore, right? I learned to not take things too seriously. It shouldn't be that way. I work here. Reprimand has like different levels. Hi, hey, don't do that again, kid. I think you shouldn't do that again. Huh? Oh! You think you're funny, is it? But I think you have to assess uh, whether the people around like... That number 3 is more like, Hey bro, don't let it lah, you can't yeah. Yeah. yeah, something like that. You're trying to calm down a friend who has worked himself up at a driver in another car who has cut dangerously close in front of him. What do you do? Hey, Carol. <laughs> She's a freaking road razor. Because the thing like, outside our office there is this zebra crossing that nobody stops at. No, but it's very obvious when she's talking show not, like that. <laughs> Did they not pass their driving test? I love the answer to number 4, yeah. <laughs> so dark. Literally go from 0 to 100. <laughs> exactly. 1. 
Bang. My father is extreme religious. I get so sick of it that I just <laughs> can you really do it? I like hey wait, go go make him stop then come out and settle. No, if there was an answer to encourage him to go and attack the guy, then okay, <laughs> I'll choose that. <laughs> uh. Hey, you watch you watch frozen uh. Like Elsa said, right? Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. You've been signed to lead a work group that is trying to come up with a creative solution to a nagging problem at work. What is the first thing you do? Four. It feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> you, you just throw it on me? Hey guys, stop fanning my bubble away or I'll I'm sitting here, okay? In TSL, we always bounce, bounce, bounce. Oh, each other. Brainstorming is just to help us to bounce ideas off each other. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Imagine you have a five year old son who is extremely timid and has been hypersensitive about new people and new places since he was born. What do you do? Oh, poor thing. True. <laughs> kidding lah. Uh. Recycle. For five year old babies still a bit tender. Like meat. The last one sounds the most human. Every solution has to be like together as a family. So Chris, if we have a family here. Four. Four. <laughs> we are perfect for each other. <laughs> Yay. Four. Three. Oh. 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 Lowest Cheval. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, I see a green. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey! <laughs> Lawless! No! I got 100. 120. I think the best would be Fauzi and Chris. Mm. They, they seem to exude the whole EQ. I got 100. Haha! Haha! I beat you! He's 120. <laughs> Q would be kind of like top. I'm 25! <laughs> <laughs> Strange. He marches to the beat of his own drum. I'm not so good. <laughs> <laughs> I got 60. Mine is 90. This is fake. Okay? <laughs> Wait, I okay. demand another test. So I'm not average. <laughs> I'm not expecting this score at no, all. Yeah. It depends on the job requirements. Because if he's somebody who needs to deal with people a lot, then yeah, EQ is important. The purpose of an interview is to see whether you you can work with somebody. Don't you think you can act this your way through? Interviews, you don't act. What you do is be a better version of yourself. Like widening your shoulders so you're more confident. Just breathing more confidently. Higher character instead of skills. Because skills, you can train it out. Don't let anyone or anything <laughs> define you. You define yourself. You're who you are. I expected myself to get higher. At least every. Hey, you're the kind of people, right? They got to be and then say, like, oh, I never yeah. studied. No, no, I should have done better. 